Hello everyone, this is Ron Williams with Web Builder Templates. Uh, today we're going to talk about the layout grid and specifically a new feature that was added in WB16 and that feature is the order feature. Um, before we get to that, let's kind of take a quick look at the layout grid that I have set up and what the normal default layout grid looks like and, and acts when, when you preview it. So if, let's take a look at our Option or uh, our properties here. As you can see, what I've done, I've, all I've done is insert a simple layout grid. I've made three columns of four, and in each of the columns, I've inserted an image of one, two, and three. Each each of the columns, I've got set to center. Uh, the overflow in this case. Typically, I would tell you in most cases, you're going to want to change this to hidden rather than none. Um, if you leave it as none, if you make any changes to your grids uh, in breakpoints, it changes it in every breakpoint. Um, so hidden does not do that. Hidden allows you to have different a number of columns and in, in breakpoints. So I always change it to hidden as default. Uh, the, under miscellaneous, I've got pretty much everything the same as the default. I am going to change the breakpoint. In this case, I'm going to change the breakpoint to 767. The reason why I'm doing this is you can see I have a default view of 1200. I have a breakpoint at 768 and 360. Now I want the layout grid to remain in horizontal all the way down until it gets to 768. The minute it gets to 767 I want it to be able to flip to vertical. So that's why I'm setting my breakpoint just one below that. And we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Now. A typical layout grid, as you can see, it goes from left to right. I got one, two, three. If I go to my breakpoint, same thing there. And then when I go to the 360, it flips to vertical, and the order is one, two, three, top down. And if I preview this, as you can see, it does exactly what it's supposed to. Once it gets to that breakpoint, it flips to vertical, one, two, three. Now, with previous versions of WB15 and below, when the objects inside, whether they're at this point when they're horizontal or even when it flipped to verticals, there was a lot of times when you might want to switch the order of these elements inside. You may not want it to be one, two, three down. You may want it to be two, three, one, or you know, three one two you couldn't do that it was always one two three top down that's just how it worked however in WB16 we are now able to change the order of the objects inside now to do this it's pretty simple we're going to click on our properties of the layout grid one thing we have to change is the grid system the grid system has to be either flexbox or CSS grid for this to work it cannot be default. It won't work in default. So we're going to use Flexbox in this case. Now, as you can see, the order now becomes, you're now able to type into it. It's no longer grayed out. So what we're going to do is, in my default view, we're going to define the order of these columns. Now, Initially, I might say, look, I like the way I've got it. I want it to be one, two, and three, just as I've got it. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the first grid. And inside the order, I'm just going to put, that's the first position. I want grid one to be in the first position. Grid two, I want it to remain the same, so it's going to be in position two. And this will be in position three, OK? nothing changed and it shouldn't because that's how we, we said we want the grid one to be in the first position two and two and three and three perfect so we go to the breakpoint here and let's say based on whatever objects I have there I look at this and I say you know I like the way it looks I don't need to change the order I'm going to keep it the same so again I'm going to assign it just like I did in default second column is going to be two and the third column is going to remain in number three now, here's where I, I go to this breakpoint. I say, you know, I want to switch the order. Let's say I want number one to be where three is. 
and let's say I want 2 to be where 1 is and 3 to move up to where 2 is. So basically I want it to say 2, 3, 1. We can do that. If we open the properties, remember I want 1 to be in the last position. So if I click the first grid where 1 is at, I'm going to assign it 3 because I want it in the third position. I'm going to click on column 2. I want column 2 now to be in, in the first position, so I'm going to assign it as a 1. And then I'm also going to assign number 3 to move up where 2 was. I'm going to assign it a 2. Okay, and I'm going to hit OK. And when I do that, you're going to see these switch. So you can see where 2 and 3 moved up, and 1 at the top went to the bottom. If I look back at my other breakpoints, see everything remains the same. If I preview this, there it is in default. Breakpoint hits, it's still the same, and then when it gets to the the uh, smaller breakpoint, it now is in the order that I want it. The great thing about this is, is you can you can have as many combinations and breakpoints as you want. So if I want to go to this and I want to change it here, let's change it here. Let's say instead of two three one, I want it to be three one two. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, the first column. I want to move the number one to the second column. So I want to make it number two. I want to move column two to the third position and then I'm going to make the third column where the 3 is at, I want it to be in the first column, so I'm going to assign it 1. There we go. So I can have it completely different in every breakpoint. Here I have 1, 2, 3, I have 3, 1, 2, and here I have 2, 3, 1. And again, if we preview it, you can see it just switched. So here's the default. The minute it gets less than default, it switches to 312. And the minute it gets to less than 768, it's going to split to, to the column and go to 231. This is a great feature of the grids. It allows you to maneuver the contents inside however you want. It's, it's very helpful um, if you're using images and text and you want to be able to change the order of how they look depending on the breakpoint. Sometimes it, it might look, but you might want the text under the picture versus to the side of it. And this is going to allow you to change the order to fit your design. If you have any other questions or any comments, please leave those below or shoot me an email. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks.